Oh man, YouTube, 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 YouTube. What's been good? What's been good? I'm, you know me, man. I don't be posting a lot of videos like I used to anymore because I'm too busy out here trying to get it, man, with everything that's going on this year. Like, I haven't been posting any videos like that in 2020. I'm not I'm not a YouTube nigga, man. Like, I peep game on what's going on on YouTube and stuff, and I try to stay up on the, on the, on the new, you know, new trends or stay up on current events and stuff that's happening. But, man, I'm too busy out here getting paper, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm at work right now, baby. But, you know, something that us men out here, y'all brothers, need to be out here focusing on mainly, like, these... These women out here, these German shepherds out here are considered recreational use only, okay? And I'm going to just have a little fireside chat because with everything that's been going on, I've been peeping game too about the manosphere, just men waking up in general, period, when it comes to the way that these German shepherds are, these so-called female dogs out here who say that they're women, but... You, you already know, man. For those of y'all who don't know that definition of German Shepherd, go to Minister Jap channel, man. Minister Jap Live. Become a church member. Subscribe. Shout out to Kevin Samuel. Shout out to, you know, your, your big name brothers out here giving, giving brothers this game. Well, black men, white, it don't even matter because there's white men who also see this shit for what it is whenever it comes to these black women out here, these German shepherds out here, and even women on their side of the fence or within their race, they get, they all getting out of pocket. And I love it when, I, whenever I hear a woman say that not all women are like that. This is how you, de this is how you rebuttal that statement. Cause I came up with this statement earlier. Not all women are like that, but all women can be like that. And all women are capable of being like that, being hypergamous, being, uh, you know, a bully, being a person who gaslights, and you know, all this shit that that we have been seeing and been privy to, and that they have been exposing themselves and showing us, because a lot of women still be having this idea that we're making this shit up when it comes to the stuff that we be saying, right? When this right here in social media is the number one go-to tool that we bring out as examples of the shit that y'all be saying that we of the shit that we be saying and the shit that y'all be disingenuous about like when it comes to the stupid shit that y'all say all the time because you know you put your feelings and all of your your, your dumb ass irrational thoughts on social media online you create thirst traps you be taking like make this make sense to me man you have women who will put up provocative photos, objectify themselves sexually, like where every other picture is them twerking, it's an ass picture showing cleavage, all of this other stuff. And I'm not saying you can't do that, but they do that and then they turn around and don't like or pretend that they don't like the reaction that they get whenever they do upload a picture of them exposing themselves like that. And then they wonder why they attract the certain type of men that only want to smash. It's like, look how you present. Look how you are presenting yourself. Hmm? Look, look at your presentation. If it looks like a 304 and it's carrying itself like a 304, then nine times out of 10, you're going to be that. And for the for the for these brothers out here and for these men out here who are still cheerleading and caping for these women and being enablers being german shepherd enablers of being little attack dogs for these german shepherds y'all need to y'all need to grow up here man because it seems like and and these type of these type of men still have vested interests like that in these women that's why they are coming to the to the defense of these type of women well because they were raised by them they weren't raised with any real masculinity within their lives growing up and also they're trying to get coochie coupons. They're trying to get that little pat on their head and say, oh, see, oh, see, yeah, he a good boy. He a good little boy. The same type of the same type of male that these women holler about how they don't want. 
Oh, but they'll, you know, they'll use simps all day to enable their irrational talking points. But, yeah, I've been watching a good bit of these channels, different different channels or different content creators basically talking about how marriage is a joke. It's set up for the man to basically give up everything that he worked for with, and then he doesn't benefit from the marriage the woman ends up benefiting benefiting way more than the man does. It's a rigged game. It's a rigged game. So why play it? The best way to win is by not playing it, man. Right? So why continue to play that game when you know that there is no there is no real goal for the man. There's no real incentive like that for the man. What? Children? Those children end up being used as weapons against you in the end anyway. Me personally, me being 27, me still being a young buck out here and seeing this shit for what it is, I'm not going to have kids because look at the world that we're in now, man. Just in case people forgot, people, it's 2021 and it's already starting off crazy. Just like last year, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse before it even gets, before it even shows a small resemblance of it getting better. I hope y'all know that. Right? But I'm not going to have children like that because I don't want to invest. I don't want to invest myself or invest that much into a woman because look at all of these examples of men getting shafted and having their lives railroaded and taken away from them because of them investing because of them investing themselves into these these particular type of women and i know you have women out there that'll say well it's just the women that you pick well it seems like those type of women are becoming more and more abundant now to where it's hard to avoid not picking them Hmm? because y'all women act like y'all don't play y'all part in the beginning until you finally get to where you want it to be at in the relationship, then that's when the mask comes off. <laughs> Metaphorically, right? But then that's when the goddamn, then that's when you get done playing your role and you get comfortable and then you really start showing what, like, you really start showing your true colors. Especially that, oh, when once that happens, that's when you know it's downhill from there. Whenever it comes to a woman showing her true colors about Whatever, when it comes to the relationship that the man is trying to keep up and trying to keep afloat, but yet all you want to do is just take, 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 take. And let's talk about that. Majority of y'all women out here don't have much to offer like that to one, a nigga, a man like me, right? A young man like me, disabled Air Force veteran, hello, who out here getting it, and brothers who are like me in the same boat. Even your men who aren't, even men who have children, because what is it that you can bring a man that he can't already get him get himself? What coochie? In case y'all didn't know, let me let me let me let me bring 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 some information out, bring some stats up. Women outpopulate men. I think it's what like five or ten to one. So we have men like me who are just out here single with no baggage and. Nothing invested into any woman like any woman like that. I'm not shacking up with no woman. I'm not doing none of that goofy shit, okay? I'm not driving no fucking woman's car. This is my shit, baby. Uh nice leather. But yeah, to the to the men out there who also have children or or not, what is it that you have that a man can't go out there and get himself? You can say coochie or, or like I said, there's more women out there than there are men. So that means men have way more options to choose from. You're not the only one with a vagina, huh? So try again. What? Love? Try again. What? Stability? Try again. If that man if that man has if he is getting his shit together and making himself stable on his own, then where do you fit in at? Ask yourself, you want to say, I am the table. Well, last time I checked, if the man is already bringing shit to his own table, what does he need two tables for? Oh, oh, it's me. You, you're, you're getting me. So another mouth to feed. Somebody who is going to want to 
you know, spend my money, try to control what I can and can't do, how I can and can't carry myself and everything in between, which is why you see a lot of men are saying, fuck it. They're going their own way, which is why I love that question. Like, I love that soundboard, that sound piece, that coach Greg Adams, where he got that woman where, where like he press a button, whatever. And he has that little um soundboard and that woman be like, what happened? Where did all the good men go? Their own way. That's where they that's where they went. They took they took that they took their dicks and they went home and they focus on themselves because men are starting to wake up and not idolize and kiss y'all women's y'all women's asses anymore, man. That's what's happening. And it's just that simple. I mean, you got a lot of simple simps out here still. And but see, they're starting to slowly come around and the simp count is starting to slowly dwindle. So that's why you see a lot of these women out here panicking because their abundance of simps and saps and suckers are starting to get low. So there ain't a lot of women out here getting that attention and getting their asses kissed like that, like back in the day, like the 1990s and the early 2000s. That shit is dead. That shit is dead, man. Y'all should have capitalized on that a long time ago. But y'all know what y'all were too busy doing. I'm, ta I'm talking specifically to y'all black women. Y'all were too busy throwing men under the bus on these countless TV shows for over 50 years. In fact, since I got another phone, let's pull up another, let's pull up a video that I was watching earlier that was pretty interesting from a black woman who talks about this shit and she sees it. All right. Hold on. Now, the title is Black Women. We are much better than this. And it's just a still shot of, uh, look like Star Jones, fat ass, or whatever. But let's just listen. How many more news specials, TV appearances, and public displays is it going to take to prove that black women can't find a black man who is on her level or who isn't secretly sleeping with other men? This is not a good thing. We are not this pathetic. We are sabotaging ourselves by continuously doing this. Back in the 1980s and 90s, the problem being aired on TV shows was that black men were holding black women back. The women at that time were saying that we were being victimized, held back, held hostage, abused, oppressed, and destroyed by black men. They were bums. They were abusive drunks. They, they were, were in jail. Control freaks. They were pimps, drug dealers, murderers, cheaters. They were all on drugs. They were all in jail. They were purposely getting us pregnant and leaving or getting killed. Black men ain't nothing. The black man was the but let me let me let me pause it let me pause it and another thought a side thought for the same group of women who were yelling at the top of their at the at the mountaintop yelling at the mountaintops about how independent they were and don't need no man are the same women now who are asking where did all the good men have gone or where did all the men gone period hold on i thought you didn't need no man huh but again by the mid to late 1990s, the black men had gotten mad and tired, and then they started speaking out against black women. They mainly did this in their music, most notably gangster rap and hip hop. They started in with black women are hood rats, bitches, hoes, baby mamas. They have attitudes, their own welfare, and the famous nobody wants black women. And today, they've gone public with it. Via yep. The okay, so now it's basically a public hate fest going on between black men. It ain't a, it ain't a hate fest because. You got a lot of, let me clean that up. You got a lot of brothers out here who be speaking on these type of topics that don't hate black women. If we hated black women like that, if we really hated black women like that, man, we would have been implemented the wall of silence on y'all. That is the, in my opinion, that is the ultimate weapon to destroy not only a black woman, but just any woman. Because women thrive off of attention. They need that validation because of that validation, it ties into their emotions. It makes them feel better about themselves, which means that they don't really have that self-confidence like that because they need a person like me, a person like you to make them feel like they count, like they like they're qualified or like they or yeah, yeah, like they are a woman who has qualifying traits to deserve a so-called high value man even though you're 30 plus 40 plus overweight got relationship kids 
what I like to call it, because they weren't in wedlock. You had those kids out of wedlock in a relationship, so they're relationship kids. You live in delusional Disney World, which is something that, that's my new fucking phrase that I like to use for women who are still stuck in this idea of a fairy tale relationship and this fantasy type of idea that, like this fantasy man that y'all all are chasing after, which is an unrealistic man, when y'all have unrealistic standards, y'all realize that y'all are all chasing men who are in the 20 to 10 percentile range. And again, there is more women than there there are more women than there are men. So you wonder why you can't find a good man? It's because one, that good man don't want you, and two, he rarely even exists. And three, he has way more options than picking you. Especially you 30 plus, 40 plus. There are 21 year olds every day. New 21 year olds, new 25 year olds with no kids that are still impressionable and young and have their youth and haven't fucked up their lives yet. But yet y'all women, these, these type of these type of black women right here give give those young women fucked up game coming up. Get them to join their delusion and end up buying a ticket to delusional Disney World and then screwing them up. But let's keep going. And black women because the men finally got fed up and the women feel that nothing is changing for the better, but it's only getting worse. A lot of black men have decided to move on to other races of women. Not really. I still I still talk to black women. Black women in an attempt to counter what the men have been saying and doing have now begun to take a different approach. But again, they are using the media to do it. First of all, please recognize that the television networks and the media as a whole are not a friend to black people. And the media is used to target groups of individuals at will. Okay? So, instead of going on TV... Not just individuals, but entire populations, man. That's what the media is designed to do. Like, let me let me go on. Let me get off, let me get off topic. If y'all really want to know what the media is designed to do, go look up... Go Google or DuckDuckGo this thing called U.S. Army 37 Foxtrot. And it's basically a career field to where you can become a psychological operational specialist. And if you are a PSYOPs officer, you may be, depending on your job or your duty that you're tasked with, you may end up being um, implanted into certain factions that control mass media. But yeah, that's just another topic. Straight up victims, as in the past, with complaints of being brutalized and oppressed by black men. Now it's a superiority play that's being used. We are so successful and independent that we can't find any black men on our level, and black men won't step up to the plate. What level is that, though? If you're talking about a level that is lower than the man who is out here getting it, then of course you won't. Of course you won't, because again, let me go back to what I said earlier. If there are less of, if there are more women than there are men. Last time I checked, when there is less of something, it is more valuable. So who's really the prize here? A complaint for some, or black men are on the DL. <laughs> However, what these women... And then let me, let me talk about that shit. How black women want to use the so-called black men being on the down low or whatever as a shaming tactic or as something to try to attack your self-esteem when... Hold up, aren't the... Aren't the same black women who say they support the LGBT alphabet boy, alphabet gang or whatever like that. Ain't it disingenuous how they say that they support that movement, but then use being gay as a shaming tactic and as a way to insult you, even if you're not gay, which is something that they have been using for the longest, because just like a child. They want to hyperbolically attack you and attack you personally because they didn't get what they want. Understand is that this is even more destructive for black women than the public displays of the past were. And I'll explain why. First of all, we're missing the big picture. Back in the 1980s and the 90s, when black women were on Oprah Phil, Donahue, Ricky Lake, Sally Jesse, Raphael, Jenny Jones, etc., even though black men were being bashed unabatedly, they were at that time still pretty much loyal to black women. So it was not making us look bad. It was only making them look bad because yep. more than the majority of us were still getting married. Everyone jumped on the black male bashing bandwagon. It became socially acceptable 
for anyone to bash black men. And and this right here ties into the whole thing about how black men, how you will have your so-called um what was that one German shepherd name that Red Supreme cover earlier? Shout out to him too. Um Vivian Banks, whatever, one the Valley Girl where we played off of Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. She wanna say how black men are professional victims, but yet there were countless TV shows that this woman just named off, this black woman just named off in this video. Where black women, where black women went on those TV shows and played victim and talked about all of the shit that black men didn't do, where they were supposed to be doing and what they were doing that wasn't conducive to the black woman or the black family or the community in general, being black men being thrown under the bus, black men being called deadbeats, and all of the things that she named off earlier. How are we the victims? How, how did we portray ourselves as the professional victims when we were held for things, we were held accountable for things that we didn't even do? Like your Emmett Tills, like that whole Central Park Five. Hmm? So how are black men victims? Well, you can really say that we are victims. We are victims to injustice if you really want to go to that point. But we don't have to play the victim like y'all do. Right. We have we not only have been held accountable by black women, but black men over here in the manosphere, we hold each other accountable. Like if we see a black man up here simping for a German shepherd who is obviously irrational and don't know what she's talking about and speaking from emotion. Right. Bringing up emotional talking points and you're up here cheerleading this broad. Yes, we're going to call you out and hold you accountable. So I'm trying to figure out where the hell did this whole black men always want to play the victim when we have been the scapegoat for damn near every misfortune when it comes to what's going on in the community and outside of it and etc cetera, etc cetera. whoa mama i'm on a ball and boy it's been a minute at that time. <laughs> what black women didn't realize was how this was actually affecting black men people often think of black men as emotionless robots or savages devoid of feelings they can take it it's just top love it'll make them conform but black men are human beings and they do have feelings. Imagine hearing that crap all the time. I can barely stand to hear the negative things I've, I've been hearing about black women just over the past couple of years. I can't even imagine hearing it for, for 20 or 30 years. Now, Oh, don't worry. We, a, we pushing back. The um, consultants and the therapists that work for these networks and talk shows knew exactly how all of this was going to Rem affect the Hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me rewind that because that's a, that's a key point. Because y'all black women don't realize the ones who participated in these talk shows where you thought it was cool to get on the soapbox and to get on panels like The View and all this other shit. And like Wendy, a.k.a. Wendell Williams, and thought that it was cool to throw black men. I ain't going to even say yeah, throw black men under the bus. Not just that, but also air out dirty laundry when it comes to black male celebrities, black families and all of this stuff. Stuff that shouldn't be put out in the public. But see, y'all are the same type of women who holler about y'all don't do drama, but yet y'all participate and y'all not only perpetuate and enable the drama, but y'all ensue it and then y'all get entertainment from it. So the same ones who say they don't do drama are the same ones that are entertained by it, thus reciprocating it. Right. The psychological um, consultants and the therapists that work for these networks and talk shows knew exactly how all of this was going to affect the psyches of black men and the media used this to their advantage and they are patient they knew that this continual bashing would come to a breaking point and cause anger and frustration and possibly insecurity among black men i mean that insecurity part it may be true but a lot of men are just starting to say fuck it man a lot of men are just starting to again go their own way call out the shit that black women are doing as well because back then we didn't really have these outlets that we do now like social media opened the floodgates for all of this and i'm sure they seen this coming too like she said those psychological consultants and people who are sitting behind the scenes and and understand the and will basically foresee the trends and patterns that will happen in the future because you know they studied these things they studied human psychology and things of that nature but yeah, a lot of black men, they're just they're just fed up and they're now not going to be silenced and shamed into silence anymore. They're just now stent. 
We are now standing on our own two and our own principles and we're standing in our truth because we're calling out the shit that we see and we're calling it out accordingly and are going into intricate details about it and are making logical sense. We're using examples. We are using social media, news media clips, other women's talking, talking points. But yet somehow, oh, I forgot, we live in a post-truth society to where the truth doesn't matter anymore. The truth doesn't matter anymore. And tr basically, feelings trump truth now. Because that's why you will have a lot of women out here who will, whenever you out here, I'll, I'll, I'll use me for an example. Whenever I be out here online or whatever on these dating sites, trying to trying to get these women to wait to, to realize that you are living in delusional Disney world. When it comes to you, to the idea of the man that you want versus the type of woman that you are. Right. I'll get a lot of, oh, you're so negative. Who hurt you? I'm not talking from feelings. I'm just simply pointing out that the men that you think you deserve do not want you or else you wouldn't be 30, 40 plus pushing 50 then hit the wall twice. Got nothing but bastard babies. That man is not checking for you. It is just that simple. I'm not speaking from emotion. Because honestly, most of us brothers, we don't be wanting to deal with y'all for a long time like that. Anyways. Hmm? Anyways, huh? I'm just being real with you. <laughs> well, at the same time, instilling confidence in a superiority complex in black women. Thus bringing about irreparable discord in higher and thus bringing about this whole thing of pedestalizing and worshiping German shepherds and kissing their asses. Black man, black man, the same one. We are all girl. You a queen, girl. You a queen. Last time I checked, there was only two queens on the chessboard. Not two, not two hundred thousand, not two million, two. So y'all have demoted that term, queen. Ratings for their shows in the future. You can believe that or not. It's your choice. I'm not one to promote conspiracy theories, but mind control and pop propaganda seem to work quite well on us now. Yep, and it's very real. Mind control and propaganda is very real, which is why this pandemic is still going. Because this pandemic is another form of mind control. It's not a pandemic. It's a case-demic. And you've got a lot of people out here, not just black women, but a lot of people out here drinking the Kool-Aid when it comes to this case demit that we're in. How come bodies haven't been piled up outside of Walmart, hospitals, bars, all of these places where they say there are super spreader events? If we were in a real pandemic, you would be dropping dead in your house. Yeah, I'm just being real. But this video ain't going to be too long, man. Got to get back to this paper. I just wanted to get back on here, man, and, you know, make a video for 2021 because I, I haven't been making videos like that all of 2020 because, you know, I got a life and I got stuff going on in my life, right, that involved these German shepherds and shit. And no, I don't got kids. <laughs> and for the brothers who are around my age that don't continue that streak, man. Because you still have the power and you are the prize, bro. This year is the year that brothers like me and you, we shine through all of the bullshit. So y'all stay safe out there. Stay up. Get your money.